If you're aware of my channel, you'll know that I review a lot of Android head units. And one of the questions that I get asked quite often is, what's the best Android head unit? And that's what this video is going to be about. What's the best Android head unit? Now there's a question that I really tend to avoid because there is no definitive answer. The answer would be relevant on multiple factors such as what car you drive, what features you're looking for, what budget you have. So there is no real straightforward answer because one head unit wouldn't work in every possible situation. So here I'm gonna tell you what my top three Android head unit brands are based on my own personal experience of using them. It's not a list of the most powerful head units because power and speed are only one aspect of what makes a head unit great. Although I will be doing a YouTube video on the benchmark scores of the Android head units that I've tested in the future, so make sure you subscribe. This video is gonna be a high level overview of the head units that I've selected. And if you want more information, I did reviews of each of these head units in separate videos on my channel, which I will link in the video description. Please note, this is not a sponsored video and I don't get paid to endorse any company or product. This is an honest reflection of my personal opinion when using these devices. Please also note that there's a lot of amazing brands available and uh, this is just based on my own personal favorite but I will add the additional brands at the end of this video to make up a top 10. So without further ado, let's look at the number one head unit of 2022. So the number one on my list is TIs. Their flagship head unit is the CC3, and it actually truly sets the standard of how an Android head unit should be designed. Search their website for your car, and if you're lucky, you might find that they have a custom solution for you, including the dashboard trims and canvas decoders to make installation a plug and play exercise. They have an eight core ARM Cortex 1.8 gigahertz CPU with a choice of three to six gigabytes of RAM. This is plenty fast to do whatever you want to do on a car head unit. There's a choice of a nine or a 10.2 inch display, both of which are beautiful QLED at a resolution of 720p, which is plenty for the use case. Not one, but two DSPs are installed, that, that's digital signal processing chips, offering the ultimate high quality sound manipulation. And it has digital audio output capability via stiff coax and optical toss link, which is simply spectacular. And then there's the software. Ah, the TI's software. Simply the greatest software of any head unit currently available. And I mean any head unit, including the big brand non-Android head units. The reason for this is the attention to detail. The launcher, for example, is simply glorious. It's not just for looks, it's actually highly functional, which is something you very rarely see. It has a one-of-a-kind picture-in-picture widget, which allows you to run particular apps in a window on the actual dashboard like navigation, or you can view the cameras, or even their fun little car widget. Their car integration software is also best in class. Its visually pleasing user interface makes it exceptionally simple to program the head unit for vehicles compatible with canvas integration. Then there's the attention to detail aspect, such as their built-in radio widget, which allows station artwork, their overall navigation of menus and settings, and other cool things like the speed and fatigue warnings, and much more. Naturally, if you must use Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, both of these features are present. Like other brands, TIs have a lineup of additional peripherals that you can install to give yourself a more integrated factory feel. But unlike other brands, the TI's accessories are not just cheap generic items, they actually integrate with the TI's launcher and software. The DVR dash camera, for example, does much more than simply recording the road at 1080p. The camera reads the road and recognizes road lines and objects, offering features like advanced braking warnings and lane assist, which is really cool. You can get the reverse camera, which is true 1080p. Or if you're really adventurous, you could install the four cameras for the full 360 degree parking system, which gives you a bird's eye view of the car. That system also integrates your car's indicators, or blinkers if you're in the States. So when you activate them, it changes the view on the screen to give you more visibility in that direction. If you're looking for something smaller than the TI's CC3, then TI's do offer the CC2 Plus, which is a seven inch Android head unit. And that shares some, but not all, of the CC3's amazing features. Number two of my best brands list is Joying. I've installed many Joying head units. 
Join have a variety of head unit options with screens ranging from 7 inches all the way up to 13.3 inches, and they are all generally available in single or double din. This makes Join the ultimate brand if you're looking for a standard size head unit, however they do now create packages for certain vehicles which include dash trims and canvas decoders for plug and play integration. Most Android head unit brands use a generic template designed around the screen, probably to cut costs. But Join is different, and in my opinion, they make the most physically beautiful Android head units. Some of their stunning screens are less than a centimeter in thickness with a stylish thin bezel. Their thin nature is not only aesthetically pleasing, but it also allows for the screen to go into vehicles which they otherwise wouldn't. The other massive benefit of the larger Join head units is that their screens are fairly easily detachable and the ribbon cable that connects the screen is robust enough to sustain frequent removal. Then you have the specification of the screens themselves. Join's flagship head units go all the way up to a resolution of 1200p. It's also nice and bright with a great contrast ratio. Anyway, my point is that this is a very sharp, high quality screen indeed. From a hardware perspective, Join's flagship head units favor the 8-core ARM Cortex 1.8 GHz CPU and range from 4 to 8 GB of RAM, which makes them blisteringly fast. They're equipped with a good DSP chip and amplifier, so they sound amazing with loads of control over the audio. Plus, the flagship models have digital output capability via SPDIF coax and optical toslink, which is amazing. The flagship head units have a new launcher with a great design which includes a picture-in-picture -picture widget which allows options to run Google Maps or the Join dashcam in the window on the launcher. This shows next level integration of peripherals, something that made the TIs so good. The rest of their user interface is just as glorious and makes sifting through the menus and settings a painless and effortless experience. They just feel like quality devices because they are. Number three on my top brands list is iDoing. iDoing is a brand that spends a lot of time designing their head units to be integratable into pretty much any car. If you can find your particular model of car on their website, they'll be able to include the dash trim and the canvas decoders to not only make the install look factory, but also integrate with some of your car's features. On top of the custom products, they also supply a healthy variety of generic in-store head units in single or double DIN form factor, and DIN Zero, which represents a device with a screen that can be mounted anywhere on the dashboard, not just where the original radio is. The reason why this brand has made it onto this top three prestigious list is because of their 13.3 inch flagship head unit. This head unit utilizes an ARM Cortex 8 core CPU and comes shipped with your choice of four or eight gigabytes of RAM. So it's a really, really fast device. It also comes with a great quality DSP and amplifier. So the sound is also very good indeed. Plus it's equipped with a SPDIF Toslink digital optical output. Then we come to the screen itself, which is 13.3 inches of QLED goodness, running a full 1080p resolution. As this screen is so large, the higher resolution really does make a difference, and the QLED really offers a premium visual experience with the fantastic contrast ratio. So specifications wise, this head unit really knocks it out of the park. Because this head unit came from iDoing, it was supplied with the canvas decoder that I required to make it work in my car, a Saab 95NG, which is a GM car based on the Opel Insignia. This means that this head unit is fully integrated with my car's systems. The screen displays things like climate control settings, including heated seats. It shows me which doors are open. It shows me the readings from my parking sensors. It's awesome. Software-wise, the menus and settings are very well designed, meaning it's exceptionally easy to navigate. Very premium feeling. Of course, it does do Android Auto and Apple CarPlay too, if that's what you're looking for. So that's my top three. If this video was a top 10, uh, I will just quickly give you my list for the remaining seven. It would be Deceta, Atoto, Extrons, Enon, Pumpkin, Chicane, and Linkswell. Those are all the brands that are right at the top of my list and what you should consider buying uh, if you was to buy an Android-based head unit. Of course, my channel is very much about in-car technology these days and I do review a lot of it. So uh, if this kind of thing interests you, please do subscribe to my channel. I've got a lot more videos that I'm planning to release very shortly, which is based on this subject.